Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Mack and along with my co-authors Ed Keutrell, Long Shin Lee, Meredith Ringle Morris and I would like to share our project that we worked on while at Microsoft Research called Designing Tools for High Quality Alt Text Authoring. Let's start by briefly discussing what alt text is, a textual description that accompanies an image describing what's inside the image so that people who cannot see understand its content. For example, the alt text for the image shown here could be a white bunny wearing yellow sunglasses in front of a yellow background. Automatic alt text is alt text that is generated by an AI system. It's convenient but sometimes has quality issues. For example, the alt text for the same bunny I swear, was a picture containing Lagomorph Mammal. For those of you who are wondering what a Lagomorph is, like me, it's like a super class of bunny. Prior work has investigated what should be included in alt text, the quality and misperceptions of automatic alt text, and the ways of presenting alt text to screen reader users. But few papers focus on the experience of alt text authors, though those that do find that authors have trouble crafting high quality alt text. In this paper, our goal is to design interfaces so that they can support alt text authors in understanding what to include in alt text and to do so more efficiently. To do so, we conducted two complementary studies, the first of which was a combined interview usability testing session with 12 cited alt text authors, since we're trying to improve the experience of writing alt text and the quality of alt text generated by them. We then performed a complementary interview study with six blind or low vision people who use screen readers to understand if author and screen reader user understandings of alt text differed and what screen reader users thought of the quality of the alt text generated by our author participants. Let's jump into the first study. There were two main tasks that we wanted to support, writing alt text for images and providing feedback on the automatic alt text for images. In today's presentation, we'll only be talking about this first task for brevity. For this task, we adjusted the existing alt text editing pane, adding prompts depending on the type of image. So as an example of one of these types of interfaces, to the traditional interface prompt, how would you describe this object in its context to someone who is blind? It might add prompts like include the subject in detail, the setting, the actions and interactions, and other relevant information. We asked authors to write alt text using the original interface, both with and without automatic alt text, and to also author alt text with our new interface conditions. The interview data that we collected was coded by two authors using thematic analysis. The alt text that was generated by our participants was ranked with an existing four-point scale created by Gleason et al. from one, irrelevant or inaccurate, to four, almost everything is described, including information that might not be immediately apparent visually. We also asked our participants who used screen readers from our second study to rank these alt texts to get feedback from real end users. Now I'll share a small subset of the results with you. First, we found that after authoring with our new adjusted interface, participants appreciated the extra support provided by this interface through the suggestions. For example, one person said, it's kind of nice to have that detail so you're not just out there like, what should I put? Additionally, we found that our interfaces often improved the quality of alt text that was created. For example, here I have a photo of the Taj Mahal. The original alt text that one participant wrote was Seven World Wonders Building with Brockway, which omits key information and details. Then, when they authored alt text with one of our interfaces that presented suggestions, their alt text was, the subject is a white building with people gathered outside of the building. The people are gathered in front of the building for a possible event. It's a sunny day with a smooth walkway leading up to the building and green grass and trees on the sides. Though this alt text still omits the name of the building, it's much more detailed and describes all elements of the image. Interestingly, we also found that the presence of automatic alt text affected the final quality of alt text after user edits. So for example, here I have a photo of a person sitting drinking coffee. When starting from a blank interface, a participant wrote the alt text, a young lady with dark curly hair and glasses sitting down at a coffee table. She's holding an espresso cup with her right arm and leaning her head on her left hand. When the participant started from the automatic alt text then, which was a person sitting on a table, the resulting alt text post edits was a young female person sitting on a table smiling at the camera which is much more concise, but also inaccurate as the person is sitting at the table, not on the table. So that summarizes a bit from our first study. 
In our second study, we talked to six blind or low vision screen reader users about their use of, experience with, and opinions of alt text. We also sought to understand their opinions of our authoring interfaces and the quality of the alt text that was generated from those images. So, we asked them to rank and discuss the alt text made by our author interviewees. Like in study one, two authors used thematic analysis to analyze these interview transcripts. First, we wanted to share the important alt text characteristics that our participants reported. The most important characteristic by far was accuracy. Inaccurate alt text was considered misleading. The next most important characteristic was completeness, meaning that the alt text wasn't missing any important information. The remaining three characteristics, conciseness, detailedness, and use of natural language, all varied in importance between participants. And you might notice that two of these, conciseness and detailedness, even seem to be in opposition of each other. So for example, for the same photo that we saw before, the two most preferred alt texts were, a woman with black curly hair, glasses, and a green sweater sits in a coffee shop or office. She has a cup of espresso in one hand, a saucer in front of her, and she's leaning on one arm looking at the camera smiling slightly. The other nearly equally preferred alt text was a young lady looking at the camera sitting down drinking a cappuccino. So to briefly summarize our takeaways, first we found that interface changes did affect alt text engagement and quality. For example, alt text authors appreciated the support that was added via our interface designs and it often led to higher quality alt text. On the other hand, we saw that automatic alt text also influenced the final quality alt text, sometimes making it less detailed than the original. While we found that our alt text interface variants can encourage authors to meet shared screen reader values like accuracy and completeness of alt text, we found that a one size fit alt fits all alt text is not often the most desirable solution. We saw vast interpersonal differences of opinion in what and how much detail should be included in alt text. Future work should investigate how to allow for alt text customization. For example, using in user interfaces like ours to prompt authors for thorough, detailed alt text and then using a summarization technique may allow us to have both a detailed and more concise alt text depending on their priorities. Finally, today we only talked about a subset of our findings. Please check out our paper at tinyurl.com slash alt text interfaces to learn more about our work, including our results from testing interfaces for providing feedback for automatic alt text, the differences that we found between screen reader user and alt text author perceptions of alt text, and the role that context plays in alt text. Thank you for your attention. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you.